I rise to warn this body of the deteriorating conditions in the African country of Niger and to give rise to the concern of service members and contractors. More than a thousand of them right now are functionally being held hostage in Niger. They are being used as pawns during a negotiation that has left America at the bended knee of third world criminals and thugs wow. as our troops seek medicine and fresh water and troop rotations. How did we get here with more than 1,100 Americans endangered right now in Niger? Well, it started back in March of 2023. Secretary of State Antony Blinken went to Niger and proclaimed that it was a model of resilience, a platform for great democracy. It would be where America would execute its Africa strategy. One year later, almost to the day, there was a coup in Niger. And guess who overthrew the government that we said was the great model of resilience. People we trained. We trained the coup leaders to go throw out the democratically elected government of Niger. And I know this will surprise you, but after that occurs, they say they want our bases that US taxpayers have poured more than a billion dollars into gone. They want our service members gone. And so I came to this floor after hearing from some of my constituents who were stationed in Niger and after the overthrow of the government, there weren't resupply flights. They said, Congressman, we are going to be out of medicine in May if we don't get this sorted out. Three days after I filed part one of the report that I am supplementing today, the Biden administration announced that we will be leaving Niger. A welcome sign, I'm sure, but the leaving didn't actually happen. We have people who are now more than 200 days into a 180 day rotation and while the negotiation regarding retrograde and withdrawal are ongoing, the government in Niger is using the well-being and health of our service members as leverage to get what they want out of our government. Our troops aren't getting medicine for malaria, for cholesterol, for their blood pressure, chronic conditions. And I've received the letters from the wives, from the fathers of the people who are in Niger now, and they say, we know that our family members are being extorted by the local governments when they try to leave hundreds of dollars to even bring a bag through the airport. We know that Russians are behind the wire. You know what a real U.S. president would do? Say that C-130s are on their way to Niger today with the water and the medicine and the food our <clears throat> troops need, that they will have a full fighter pilot escort there. And if the Niger government or any other 